Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And we are back with a love it or leave it. It's been a while, I know. I always kind of consider my top active wear of the year a love it or leave it video. So if you count that, it hasn't been that long, but we have some good mini reviews, some good favorites coming up today. If you guys don't know my love it or leave it videos, these are kind of like our quarterly activewear check-ins. I like to review things that I maybe didn't get a chance to do a full review on, hence the mini reviews. I go over any favorites that I had and any notable quality updates if something has or hasn't held up. Without further ado, let's start off with the mini reviews. Also, um, I just got the Shark Flex Style. Love it so much. This is the most volume I've ever had in my hair. I already have a lot of hair, but I'm obsessed. All right, we're starting off the mini reviews with a new Petula launch. So this is the Northern Lights launch happening on Saturday, February 5th at 1 p.m. EST. And we have a couple repeat items like the Cassie leggings that I have reviewed before, but we also have some new pieces. So we're just gonna quickly cover these. We're gonna start it off with the new Halo leggings. So to my understanding, these are a brand new pair of leggings. They are coming in this black marl, a navy marl, and also orchid. I have the orchid in the shorts. So these are a space style material probably not gonna feel like how you think it is so I'll go over that in a second but the structure of them is very similar to the Cassie leggings we have a thick double thickness waistband and just some very slightly tapered glute seams that go above the hips patula seams are always right where they need to be but they're not like a super dramatic V taper if you don't like that look personally I can go either way but I do like this so it's this space dye material and it's kind of like a thicker brushed material but definitely more durable than like the peak or the bear but you don't get that same naked feeling. This was definitely more compressive than I expected. So you're getting a lot of compression, a lot of hold. You also have this little band along the top of the legging that kind of ties in a solid color. And the little Petula logo is back, guys. I thought that they had taken this away, but the little, I think it's a little sweat drop. I've never quite understood what it is. I should probably know. Glad to see this is back because the whole Petula logo was getting a little big. Wasn't a big fan. So the Halo leggings are coming in a 25 inch inseam and let's try them on. All right, here are the Halo leggings. So these are just a 25 inch inseam. I wish they came out with 23 and 26 as they usually do. So immediately I put these on for the gym today and I was surprised at the amount of compression they had. To me, they kind of looked like they would be like the peak leggings, but they are not as stretchy naked feel as that. They definitely have more compression. This color here is feeling like a medium to high compression to me. No front seam. I'm getting a nice amount of tummy control though. And I like this little band at the top. I think it'd be super cute to tie into a black sports bra or whatever color this band is. High rise, the seams go above the glutes, but because this fabric is a little bit thicker, we're just gonna go with a medium on the booty scale. They're not really enhancing. They're not squishing down. I mean, it is like flattening slightly, but because you have the seams above to kind of lift, I feel like it kind of counteracts it. And these are definitely going to be nice and cellulite friendly, sweat friendly. These pattern type leggings are really good for hiding things like that, if that's something you like to do. They are still slightly brushed on the outside, so they're still soft to the touch, but they feel more performance. But with the compression and thickness, they just feel like a more like sturdy legging. They're also definitely a little bit on the warmer side because they're a little bit thicker. So this is not something I would wear during the summer. Next we have the Halo short. So I got these in the orchid color and the little top band really stands out in this one. So it's that same compressive space dye material. Let me show a close up. So here's the material. It is brushed soft to the touch, but it's definitely thicker and not as naked feel as the bare or the peak leggings. This fabric is also much thicker and feels more durable than even the Cassie leggings and the Valerie leggings. So you're definitely getting a more compressive fit. And the Halo shorts are just coming in a six inch. That's my preferred length. Let's try them on. All right, so here are the Halo six inch shorts. We have a nice high rise. I love that these match. It matches the solid colors of the bra. And actually if you bend over the waistband, um, it's the full color of the solid. So we're getting about a medium compression throughout the shorts. I feel like it's a little less in the leggings. That could be due to the colors as well. But we have no front seam, not getting any gathering. I still feel nice and held in especially in the waistband. I feel like it's a thicker waistband. It's giving you some good tummy control. It's pretty thick thigh friendly as well. Not as much as like the, the bare or the peak shorts, but I still really don't feel like I'm cut in anywhere. I think the space dye is super cute. Seams go above the glutes, but with this fabric being kind of on the thicker side, you really can't get any glute separation. So I think I'm just gonna go with medium on the booty scale. Definitely not the best for the glutes, but you are getting a little more compression and hold. And like with the leggings, you're gonna get some cellulite coverage as well. And I love that the logo is back. It's subtle. So these kind of feel like more of a performance feel 
because they're a little thicker and more compressive, but they still are soft and brushed to the touch. The Cassie leggings and shorts are back. They come in black, magenta, navy, and viola. And they also come in 23 inch inseam, 26 inch inseam, and 28 inch inseam. So I love all the lengths these are coming in. I honestly don't even know what length I got. I hope I got a 28. Okay, I got, I got 26. That's fine. I can still do a 26, but I am a tall gal. Sometimes people forget because I don't look tall when I'm just filming here by myself, but I'm five foot nine. So the Cassie leggings are made of an ultra thin brushed material, very lightweight. Here is a close up and I'm just gonna do a quick try on of both the Cassie leggings and the shorts. The shorts are coming in four inch and six inch and they're also coming in eight inch, but the eight inch only comes in the color black. The four and six inch come in all the same colors as the leggings. So let's try them on. All right, so these are the Cassie six inch shorts. These are feeling a little more snug today, so I don't know if it's just this color or this launch, but I would definitely consider a size up if in between. I still think this small is fine for me, but we can see I'm just getting a little more compression in the thighs and a little more compression in the waist as well. So six inch is kind of my ideal short length. I just like that they never seem to roll up on me. They're just a comfortable length, go past most of the bulk of my thighs. Super high rise on these Cassies, no front seam, and the glute seams go above the glutes in the back. So these are not my favorite of the Petula shorts just because I'm not 100% in love with the material, but I do love the shape of them and I think they're a great basic short and they are very soft. I just wish this fabric had like a teeny, teeny bit more stretch. All right, so here are the Cassie leggings. They're a super high rise. This part of the waistband is very high. So for my shorties, this might be a little bit high. No front seam ultra soft to the touch. And I would say overall these have about a light compression, but something about this fabric, like I definitely feel like I get a little bit of a stopping point to the stretch when I bend my knees like this. So I kind of like the fabric of the Valerie leggings just a little bit more for that reason. Those just have like so much more stretch to them. These ones I will say, even though they have this high waist and thick waistband, don't feel like they have a ton of tummy control and they're also very thin so they won't have a lot of cellulite coverage either so if you're looking to hide cellulite the halos will definitely be better we do have the seams go above the glutes and again because they're not like the maximum stretch i don't feel like i can get a ton of glute separation so i feel like at the end of the day i mean the seams still do go above the glutes so these could be they're kind of between a medium and a medium to high on the booty scale and i love that these come in multiple lengths so i do like these leggings they're just there's something about it that they're just not a favorite for me. I think it's just the fabric. Like if I tried these like two years ago, I think I would be over the moon obsessed with them. But because I've tried so many just amazing fabrics at this point, I feel like this fabric just doesn't quite hit all of the marks for me. They are also coming out with the Cassie maternity leggings. Obviously I did not get those because I am not currently with child. But basically same material as the Cassie leggings, but an extra high rise to cover your little bump if that is where you are in life. We also got the Cecily sports bra. I think I need to switch my size to a small. Sometimes Petula bras run small, so I prefer a medium, but I'd say they've kind of shifted to being a little more true to size. So I've been feeling like small is my size. That's kind of my normal sports bra size. So coming in the same colors as the leggings and the magenta matches the little top band of the orchid halo leggings and same with the navy and everything. So I like that you can kind of pair these with a solid. And these also feel like a brushed material similar to the Cassie leggings. So let's try it on. Okay, so here's the bra. In general, it's not like huge. The only place where I feel like it is a little bit big is just a teeny bit of like extra space around the shoulder area here. Other than that, this one's a nice like medium to full coverage, long line. We have removable cups, a little scoop neck here, and some crisscross straps in the back. Very basic. I would say that this one is pretty large cup size friendly. Generally, Petula I feel like is like not always the most large cup size friendly. This one feels pretty good. Um, so if you're in between, I would definitely go with the size up. But in general, I would stick true to size. I think I could do a small on this one. I would just get a little more compression. Right now, I am about at a light to medium support. I also forgot to mention with this top, it is a double layered fabric for the long line portion, but the back has a small little band at the bottom. So it doesn't really cut into you and it's not all the way around, but there is a little band in the back. Then we have a couple tops. So versus the flow crop, I think this one's super fun. So I just wore this to the gym today, but it's this super boxy oversized crop with kind of longer sleeves. So it's made of a kind of like French terry fabric and the sleeve is flipped inside out. So it's super soft. This is like the body of the shirt. And then the sleeve is the kind of flipped 
loop terry fabric and the neck is kind of wide to be worn off the shoulder as well. Petula does a lot of really oversized stuff so this is a small but it's going to fit very oversized so just keep in mind I probably wouldn't really size up in these unless that's your thing. Some people like to size up even when it's oversized. All right here's the tee. So this one is definitely a little more my style still like cute slouchy oversized but a little more cropped not full length so you can see kind of the difference in textures in the arms the terry is turned inside out on the sleeves so it's a seam but also a raw cut edge on the bottom so just kind of slightly undone so you can wear this like kind of over the shoulder it just has a wider shoulder it's not going to come like completely off the shoulder unless you really pull it over there the sleeves are like longer than the crop it's actually quite cropped but it's so boxy that it gives you like a little bit more length. I feel like this one is kind of like a lifestyle, but also something I'd wear just, you know, over my sports bra leggings at the gym. That's what I did today. Just kind of as a little loungy piece. Um, I would stick true to size for this one. It's just going to be a nice amount of oversized and flowiness. Then there's the premium tee. This is just kind of a slightly oversized tee made of, it feels like the same material as their men's long sleeves, which I love to lounge in this material. It's super lightweight, super stretchy, very soft. Here's that material close up. So this is a size small and it will be kind of oversized. So you can size up or down as needed. And this one just has the Petula logo kind of repeated three times in the middle of the chest. I think this looks a little bit awkwardly small, if you ask me. I don't know, I'm very picky with my logos and I just feel like I don't totally love this. This still would be something I wear because I like the feel of it, but I probably wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it because I'm just not a big fan of the of the logoing. All right, so here it is. I think this is super cute with the viola bottoms. And this is a size small. I think this is unisex. I did have a man wearing this as well as a woman in their little launch PDF, but it is super long, like over the glutes. So definitely like could be oversized pump cover vibes. You can kind of tuck it in to the front of your top. And it's just like a very drapey flowy fabric. So as far as oversized tees go, I love this material. I think it's nice and flowy. Uh, I just reviewed the Buff Bunny Transcend tee and that one is really flowy, but this one has a lot more softness to the actual touch. So super cozy. I think I actually would wear this one to the gym like this together. People like to tuck either the, the front or the back of their shirts into their bras. So this is the small, it feels about like two sizes too big for me. So if you want a more snug fit, I would size down about two sizes. But if you just want it to be oversized, relaxed, stick true to size. Again, not a big fan of the logos, but the material is kind of winning me over. Wish it was a little bit more plain, but I still do like it. And then the back is very plain. And Pinto just ran his way in here, so he's gonna get a forced feature. Isn't that right, buddy? You're just too cute. And then I also got the casual long sleeve. This is that same kind of like French terry material and looks like the same overall shape as the men's long sleeve. So I love these for lounging at home. They're going to be super oversized. This is a size small and it's definitely going to be big. Um, let's just try it on. Okay, so here's the tee. Again, very long and oversized. So it's going over my butt, oversized. We know the drill, size down if you don't want it this large, but it's still always gonna be long. It still has kind of that soft of the touch that the old men's long sleeve had, except it's like more of a terry material. Sometimes terry materials can be itchy, this is super soft, like one of the softest terry materials I've felt. It's also on the thinner side. We have little cuffs at the sleeves, small slits at the sides. The Petula wordmark logo is embroidered into the bottom here and just kind of a slightly wider crew neck and a little seam detailing in the back. So I definitely think this is a unisex item. Men can wear it as well. For me, it's gonna be more of a lounge thing. Um, I don't really love wearing like super long shirts like this. It's not really my vibe, I'm more of a cropped girly myself, but I could always crop it myself. Next, we got a couple pieces from Popflex. So this one was on their TikTok because they were talking about designing a sports bra that did not have removable cut pads, but still offered support and hid the nips. So this is the Celeste Mesh Bralette. I got this one in a size small, kind of feel like I could have sized down. We'll see when I try it on, but basically it has this almost like kind of memory foam, like padded situation, but it's still stretchy and it's not a removable cup pad or even a built-in cup pad that's kind of like more structured. So here it is. It's kind of like this thicker kind of pillowy material. I really like this in theory. I feel like this one didn't quite fit me totally, but let's just try this on. Okay, so there's a couple things I like about this top, a couple things I don't. So this one is listed under sports bras. I'm, I'm not feeling any of the lift and hold that I really should be getting out of a sports bra. So it's more like a long line tank to me. So 
as a tank. It's super cute, long line. The material on this one I'm liking a little bit better than some of the leggings. It's slightly brushed. I like the little rounded bust area here. I think it's really flattering, subtle, and cute. And then a pretty scooped neckline. So this one's a small, and I just feel like I'm not getting enough compression in the girls to the point where like I'm getting a light support. I really cannot do like any movement in this without jiggling around too much, which is why I just don't really feel like it's really like a bra. I really don't feel like I'm getting any nipping in this, and I like the thickness of the material here. I think it's a really innovative idea, so I like that instead of the removable cups. But I, I feel like there could have been an elastic somewhere in here. Maybe the point was to not be restrictive and not have an elastic. I don't know. And then the back is just a little crisscross strappy detail. So I would say size down if you're in between or even if you just want a more compressive fit. Overall, really not getting any side boob and this area is pretty well covered, even not with the mesh. So I'd say it's a nice medium to full coverage. And it's kind of large cup size friendly. I'm spilling out of it a little bit around here and at the bottom, and it's not really supportive. So will you be covered as a large cup size? Yes. Will you be supported? Not really. Then I got a couple shorts from them as well. So they recently launched a whole bunch of shorts, some different style waistbands, different fabrics, and different lengths. So these are the super sculpt booty shorts. So we're talking, we're talking short. We're talking like two inch inseam. Not my preferred length. I think they're a little short, but I love to see multiple options. So the super sculpt material is like a kind of thicker, compressive performance material. We have a nice thick waistband. So these give some nice lower tummy control, no front seam. And they started fixing the glute seams on their shorts and their leggings. They used to be really low and just kind of cut off the line of your glutes and not be super flattering, but they started kind of raising them a little bit and adding a little more curve to them. These ones also have pockets. All right, here are the booty shorts. These are definitely booty shorts. They are short as shorts can be. Um, you guys know this is not a length that I personally enjoy. I like that they're offering multiple lengths, but if you look on the website, it definitely seems that they have like the bike short, like seven, eight inch, and then they have the two inch and nothing in between. And I feel like, and I feel like people kind of like that in between like the four or five even six, you know, four to six. I feel like that's a prime length and I feel like they just skipped that over with these. But if you love a super short short, I'm definitely cheeking out a little bit on this one. So it's a little short for me, but they are true to size. I would size up if in between. Love the lower tummy control in the waistband here. They're really good about having that tummy control. This is like a medium high compression fabric, little pockets at the side here. And the seams do go just barely above the glutes, but because this fabric is kind of compressing and you know, you can't really separate the glutes at all. Just a medium on the booty scale, I think, for these. So this fabric and this length is not my top pick. I think my personal favorite new short from theirs are the cargo biker shorts. So something about a legging with a drawstring, I've just been into it lately. I think it's cute. I also think it helps shorts and leggings stay up a little better. And I like that it's in the middle of the waistband and not at the top because it's not gonna create like a muffin top cutting in, just right in the middle kind of snatches you in and still allows the waistband to be compressive. We have that cute little drawstring. We have about a seven inch inseam on these shorts. They have side pockets and then they still have those kind of curved glute seams. These have quite a few seams in the back. I feel like it could have been minimized a little bit, but I get it to have the drawstring. You kind of needed to have all of those. These are also like a performance material. So here are the cargo bike shorts. These are definitely my favorite out of the shorts. I love that they have a little drawstring here. The drawstring is also more of a stiff drawstring, which I think does a better job at holding up leggings and shorts. Cute little plastic pop flex aglets here. Nice spacious pockets. They go all the way down the leg again. These are nice, but yeah, you might like you might lose your phone down here with how much space there is. But so often women's shorts are short changed in terms of the pockets that I'm not mad about it. So these are pretty high rise, so just be careful of that if you have a shorter torso. Like I said, I like that the drawstring is kind of in the middle of the short, not at the top, so you don't get that like cutting in muffin topping that you do if you had like a top band or a drawstring at the top. I'd say these are pretty thick thigh friendly. This material is a sleek performance. It's feeling a little bit better than some of the other ones that we're gonna try today. I feel like it's squishing down the glutes a little bit less. So these ones still might be a medium on the booty scale, but I definitely like the fabric, the fit, and the style of this short the best. Um, might get a little bit of cellulite coverage, but I wouldn't expect a ton because this is performance. You know, you just never know. But I think this design is super cute and the fabric on this one is a little bit better. We also have the crisscross hourglass bike shorts with pockets. They're really prioritizing the pockets. All of these have been a performance material so far. I would have liked to see 
some brush materials thrown into the mix. But to be honest, I haven't been in love with Popflex materials yet. I feel like they're getting more of the styles down now and I'm liking more and more of what they come out with, but the materials, not quite there yet. Like I love their flare leggings, but the material, it's just that kind of brush material that's not quite soft enough to the touch and just like clings onto pet fur even more than normal brush leggings. Like it's just, it's impossible to get pet fur out of this. Anyways, these are the crisscross hourglass. I love their cross waist. They dip down a little in the front, super flattering. We have a side pockets and the curved glute seams in the back. All right, so here are the bikers. They have super deep pockets. They go all the way down the leg. So you'd be able to fit a lot in there. Honestly, might be too deep because I feel like I would lose my phone in here. No front seam, which is awesome. They've been really good about taking the front seam away from everything. We have a nice dip down in the front of the waist here for a little lower tummy control and quite a high crossover waist. I'm a little worried about this being too high for some of my shorter girlies. This goes up super high in the back. I do love that the seams, they now sit above the glutes. This fabric is a little bit of a squishier though. So we're giving a lot of mediums on the booty scale today. These are a medium. They're not really gonna enhance much. Love the seams, but the fabric just, I just feel like they need to work on their fabrics. This really has like, an end point to the stretch. I feel like you can really feel it in the glute area, in the bottom of the shorts. So I love that it's a performance, but I wish it had just a little bit more stretch. The inside of the pockets actually feels slightly brushed though. So I think these are super cute. These are going to definitely be a nice little summer bike short. I will still wear them definitely on walks and things. I just wish the fabric have a little more stretch because I feel like I'm getting a little pancake butt right now. And lastly for the mini reviews, a couple Amazon picks. So I recently got these cute little ribbed tops from an Amazon store called Vantonia. So I feel like these would be really good for lifestyle as well as gym. But they're kind of like almost this like mineral wash ribbed material. So here's the close up. It's got this ribbing, super, super stretchy. We have a little racer back in the back and these do come with cup pads built in. So it does have a cup pad area, removable cups, but there's no elastic. So it just needs to be kind of compressive enough to hold the girls. So let's try this one on. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking the length. It's like a longer cropped length, super, super stretchy. It's like a double thickness as well. We have those cup pads in there. So I'm not gonna have any nipping problems. There's no elastic at the bottom, but because this is so like ribbed and I don't know, like stretchy, I feel like it's kind of just holding the girls up well. So I would definitely say true to size. If you're in between, I'd probably go size down though. It's just so stretchy that it shouldn't be an issue. The straps come into a racer back in the back. So kind of gives us a more active vibe, but I think I would wear this more as a lifestyle, especially because it doesn't have any sort of elastic under the bust. Doesn't feel as much like a gym top to me, but you could absolutely wear this to the gym. This kind of like washed rib, it's kind of giving me like free people vibes. It's much more affordable and I don't know, I think it's cute. One more top from Vantonia. So this is another ribbed material like that. Super stretchy, but just a classic tank style. I feel like these are gonna be super cute for spring and summer. Here's the material close up and let's try it on. So this top is a little bit more cropped. I'm still getting that double compression, like really soft ribbed material. We have the cup pads in there. Um, this one feels slightly less lifting than the other one, but still enough for me to wear and not feel like my girls aren't supported at all. This one definitely feels more lifestyle, has nice thick straps. They just go straight up and down. So this is something I probably wouldn't recommend wearing to the gym, but again, you could if you wanted. True to size, size down if you're in between. And if I had to give it a support rating, it would be light because there's really no elastic in there or anything. But this also would be something I would just throw on to lounge in like over the weekend, just cause it's super cozy. Nothing cutting into you, but it still holds the girls enough. They're, they're, they're held in. Then just to wrap it up, a couple tops from Oxjock. So first is a super cute cutout long sleeve. This one's made of a kind of thicker, more dense, brushed material. And this one also has removable cups in it as well and an elastic band along the bottom. So I definitely feel like this one could be a good gym top if you like wearing long sleeves. I can only handle a long sleeve in the gym for like 20 minutes at a very maximum, but I still thought this one was super cute and I'm excited to see how the cutout is on. All right, so here's this top. It's about the length of a shorter sports bra. So it's not long line, has that elastic in there and the cups. It's a pretty snug fit, so this is a size small, and I'm definitely getting like compressive sleeves, compressive in the bust, so I would say true to size, just so you can maintain that bra support in your correct size, because if you size up, it might be a little loose in the band. And then we have this cutout. I feel like it's kind of like pulling in interesting ways. I don't know. I think it's cute, but it just, it feels like 
I don't know, it feels like the sleeve should be up here, but then it kind of wants to come down. Okay, maybe yeah, maybe it's supposed to be up higher a little bit more like that. So cute little asymmetrical moment. I like it. This is just not really something I'd wear to the gym um, or lifestyle really, because for lifestyle, it's a little too cropped. For the gym, I just don't wear like long sleeves very often. And if I do, I like to have an actual sports bra underneath, not a built-in bra, because I want to be able to take it off once I get warmed up. But the fabric is really soft. The back is plain and it's cute. Then also from Oxtrox, this little crisscross type bra situation. This one is also kind of more lightly brushed. The back has this smooth mesh paneling and removable cups and just a little twisted deal. Let's try it on. Okay, here's the sports bra. I like that it has that kind of wrap detail, but it's all one piece together and kind of gets sewn in at the sides. The back has that little mesh I was talking about. Like it almost doesn't really look like mesh, but it is a little bit like thinner and more mesh-like. Low coverage, I do have a little bit of side boob and obviously it's pretty plunging in the center. Um, I like that you have like these little, these little cutout details there. And I'm still feeling like decently contained. I might be able to stay in this one. I feel a little more contained than some other wrap bras, but you're always taking a little bit of a risk if you have a larger bust and you're wearing a wrap bra. This one's made of a slightly brushed material, kind of like the top. It doesn't really have any elastics in the bottom. It's just kind of that double wrapped fabric and it's definitely more of a short line sports bra. Next, we are on to favorites. So this is going to be favorites of all kinds, not just active wear. We're gonna start out with the pants that I've been obsessed with lately. I think I've talked about these before, but these are the Petula straight leg sweatpants. Listen, there's things I don't love about them. I don't love the logo. I don't love that I have black because I wear them at home. And I just have so much pet fur on them, but I don't care because they're so comfortable. They're made of like a soft, like fleece sweatpant material, but they also have some stretch to them and they are just wide leg and I just feel like I am done restricting my legs to joggers when I'm at home. Like leggings, too much for at home. Joggers, they can be too much for at home too. I want my legs to be free. So I love having these wide leg pants. They're just so comfy, so cozy. And I need more brands to start coming out with straight leg sweatpants because I, that's just where I'm at right now. I'm just liking the straight leg. But yeah, I don't love the logoing on this one. It's just so bold and so in your face and I just feel like it's too much. A shoe favorite. So mostly I post like gym videos and stuff on my Instagram and occasionally on here. And for the gym, I've talked about my favorite gym shoes, but I generally wear Nike Metcons or Noble trainers. Kind of liking the Nike Metcons better lately. But for school and walking around, Listen, I'm a Hoka girl. These are so comfortable, especially if you have a wider foot. Like I do have a pretty wide like toe box area. And listen, as an ex dancer, I still have some corns between some of my toes. They don't like to be squished. When they get squished like that, it hurts so much. Like it just is incredibly painful. And these are just nice and wide. They never hurt. They never squish my toes. They're super cushiony and they just have so many fun little colors. So I can't attest to how these are for running or anything because I just don't run, but I have worn them in little walks and stuff. I love them. Mine do have some chew marks on them. We still don't quite know who the culprit is on these. I kind of think it was Pinto though. We were quick to blame Peach on this, but I don't think it was her. I think she's innocent. Next is the Say Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. Listen, I don't like to wear a lot of makeup to school because I'm wearing my loops and a mask all day and it would just rub off anyway. Just no point for me. But I do have like a little three minute, little, little something routine where I do my sunscreen, this, and just a teeny bit of eyebrows. And I just love this stuff. It is so lightweight. It's such a natural highlight that I just kind of put it on like the high points of my cheekbones, inner corner of my eye and under my brow bone. And it's just such a natural glow, especially for my super pale girlies. This one actually works for us. Listen, this is me with a dark self tanner on right now. I'm still pale. So I will just show you guys. It's kind of something you can also wear like under your makeup, but it's so subtle. It's not really a sparkle. It's just like a little glow and it just kind of glows like that. I love this stuff. I have worn it under makeup as well, but I feel like whenever I wear a glowy thing under my makeup, it just kind of disappears anyway. And this is, this is the mini size. I use a tiny little bit of this thing like every day and I've barely made a dent. This was in that little sample section at like, you know, Sephora checkout. I fell victim to it, but I found a new favorite thing. I never thought this day would come guys. I never thought this day would come. I have turned in to a crew sock gym girly. We're all shocked, okay? I still don't know if I really look good in it, but I don't really care. People have told me that you have to wear them with high top shoes or whatever. I'm not gonna wear high top shoes. I'm gonna wear my Nike Metcons and if it doesn't look good, not my problem, okay? So I started wearing crew socks at the gym. You wear them over your leggings. 
solves a lot of problems if you aren't quite the perfect height for every pair of leggings. Like for me, kind of hides when my leggings are a little bit too short for me. If you're short, it kind of hides that your leggings are too long for you because you just pop these right over. These ones are from Alphalete. I think they're more like quarter socks. I don't know. These ones seem kind of shorter. You can't really scrunch them up very much. The Crew Sock Gym Girl experts have told me that you need to scrunch the socks up a little bit. So that's what we've been doing. We've been scrunching them up a little. I think it looks super cute. I also have a pair from Gymshark that are way longer that I can scrunch up a lot more. Listen, I didn't purchase any of these myself. I was just sent these ones. I was sent the Gymshark ones, not by Gymshark, by someone else. I kind of forgot who sent those to me, but I just think it's been a super cute gym look for me lately. So that's what I've been doing. In the last section for quality updates, I honestly don't have any quality updates that are bad. Everything has held up pretty well since we last talked, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out for my OG Buff Bunny Game Changer tote. This thing is still looking like brand new and this is like four years old. I got this before dental school and I'm about to graduate guys. I wore this to school like every single day for like two years straight and now I mostly use it for travel, but she is still holding up and I still love this bag. I'm going to switch back into it when I start work in the summer, but I love the little phone pocket here. You just slide your phone right in. It's got enough room for a laptop inside and it's got the meal prep compartment. So I can always store my lunch in here. I still have snacks in here because when I travel, I just shove a bunch of snacks in there just because I cannot go anywhere without snacks. I panic if I don't have food, but this has just held up so well and they have not brought these back in a while and I would love to see them bring the Game Changer bags back. I love the bags. I wear the backpack a lot for school now, but after school is over, I'm probably not gonna do the backpack so much. All right, guys, that is it for this episode of Love It or Leave It. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. As always, comment your suggestions down below. I'm trying to review a couple new brands. I'm feeling like I need to try out like Hannah Oberg's new line, like Own You. Wanted to try that one. Maybe Megan Grubb's line. Haven't tried that one either. Anything you guys suggest, comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.